you may also be asked to find the average of several fractions. And again, the average would mean to add up all the fractions together and divide by however many there are, in this case, three. So we're gonna want the sum of these three fractions and then divide that number by three. Now, in order to add fractions with different denominators, we have to find a common denominator. And fortunately, it's right here. Three is a factor of 18 and six is a factor of 18, so we can use 18. So we would need to convert the other fractions into 18ths Again, we would multiply one-third times six over six to get six eighteenths. We would multiply five six times three over three to get 15 eighteenths. And the 11 eighteenths we can just bring straight down. So we'd really be adding all of these together. And again, when we add fractions with the same denominator, the, the denominator holds, and we just need to add up the numerators and put it over that. Um, 11 plus 15 is 26. 26 plus 6 is 32, so we would have 32 eighteenths. Now, in order to find the average, we need to then divide that number by 3. So when we take 32 eighteenths and divide it by 3, let's turn that whole number into a fraction and then follow our algorithm or our process for dividing fractions, which is, once again, to multiply by the reciprocal. When you want to do this, again, we can break these numbers up according to their factors. And I know that 32 is 16 times 2. And again, I can extend the fraction bar here. And 18 is 9 times 2. So already I can cancel out my 2s, and that would leave me with 16 times 1, or 16, divided by 9 times 3, or 27. Since 16 and 27 do not share any common factors, I know that this is my final answer.